Hello, my name is Carla Soto Diaz, and in this video, I would like to share about my project called From Trash to Treasure Dumpster Diving in Yuensu. And this adventure started as a personal initiative, but then it turned into my master's thesis for the program Pedagogy and Teaching for Sustainability at University of Eastern Finland. So let's begin. In case you are not familiar with this concept, uh, dumpster diving basically means to explore your city and find open garbage bins, trash containers, and check whether they contain some items you could possibly save or recover or find useful. Usual finds include food, clothes, furniture, kitchen items, and many, many others. Uh, I would like to invite you to check, for instance, dumpster diving on social media and you will get a better idea about what can be found. But uh, why dumpster diving? I have been a dumpster diver for a few years already and it is still shocking to me uh, to see the things you can find in a dumpster. And this is some numbers I have uh, collected for my research. It is estimated that 90% of the stuff we buy is trash within six months. And uh, global waste production is only projected to increase by 70% between 2018 and 2050. Um, and in the case of Finland, for instance, since my research uh, I, I conducted in Finland, uh, the amount of waste has increased the last years. At the beginning of 2010, the amount of waste was around 500 kilograms per person. And in 2020, the amount of waste was almost 600 kilograms per person. So having this in mind, the motivation for my research project comes from the idea that consumption especially in the global north, is unsustainable and that consumption and waste are linked to the climate crisis. I see dumpster diving as an alternative to the current model of consumption and disposal. So my idea uh, was to invite university students to a dumpster diving experience in the city center and to document their experience and impressions while dumpster diving. And finally, to find out whether they can learn something from this experience whether dumpster diving can be a, a valid learning experience. And some of my preliminary findings are the following. All the participants felt safe during the experience, which is something very important and something that I wanted to, that I was curious about, whether they would feel uh, safe or not uh, while dumpster diving in the city center. Uh, Nearly all participants expressed being shocked by the amount of things they found in the dumpsters. Um, things they saw were uh, trash disposed, uh, thrown away, and that were still uh, useful or expensive, etc. Nearly all said they would be more mindful or conscious about their own consumption and waste habits uh, and this I find also interesting. And during the discussions, uh, most of the participants um, mention overconsumption and waste, and they, and most importantly, they linked this two problems: overconsumption and waste generation, to social pressure, capitalism, individualism, and structural problems. So I find this. Um, also very relevant in terms of like what students can learn or what students can discuss based on this dumpster diving experience. I was uh, very excited to hear from one of the participants about how this experience really opened their eyes and why not going with the children and showing them, referring to why not taking my own students to a dumpster uh, diving experience. So this is something that I would like you to reflect on or take 
from this uh, presentation, we usually hear that the most environmentally friendly product is the one you don't buy. And for me, it's you didn't buy it because you found it in a dumpster. So maybe next time you want something, you might go and check your dumpsters first. Thank you.